Well, only on Fox 47 tonight, there are many artists that call Madison home, as does one woman who faces daily challenges that don't stop her a single minute. She, along with a robust community of artists living with disabilities, are all right here in the community, ready to sell you their creations. It's a special report only on Fox. Stasha Wilson is a local artist living with cerebral palsy. When she was born, her umbilical cord was wrapped around her neck and chest. The lack of oxygen caused my brain injury resulting in my cerebral palsy. When my first physical therapist in grade school noticed that I have the most control over my neck and my head, my father started to make my head sticks so I could create 2D art. She says there were a lot of modifications over the years to find just the right version for her, but now she paints every day. She says it was with hard work and a will to live independently that helped her graduate UW-Whitewater cum laude with a bachelor's in art. And when she moved to Madison, she volunteered at art working, mentoring artists, brainstorming ideas, and developing friendships. Now, art working assists artists with disabilities to grow their art and their career as a professional artist. This this is the public uh, studio. Um, up on the other side there is the Sunny Studio, which is a private studio. Mostly what that means is just that's the silent studio. The team works with an average of 35 artists, 25 of which who already started their own business. Artworking is the largest provider to this population that director Lance Owens knows of anywhere. They work with people with mild challenges to severe disabilities, helping them to build their life around their art. They make original artworks and they make products based on their original artworks and some people teach classes and workshops. Some people give uh, lectures to groups of school kids or to adults. Artworking started in Dane County 13 years ago. Now they recently moved to their new Stoughton Road location after a flood last year in their old studio. Owen says they offer career focused opportunities versus hourly jobs, which sometimes doesn't allow for a lot of growth. What we wanted to do was create an opportunity for people to have their hands on the driving wheel of their own, the steering wheel of their own career, so that they could see vertical advancement over years, so that they would make more and more money and take on more and more responsibilities and do more and more tasks. Most people would agree that becoming a professional artist is already a challenging path, but perseverance cancels out the challenges. But I think it's just a testimony to the character of the people that we work with that they have that discipline and they have that stick to and they have that creative vision to be able to compete on the open marketplace with people without disabilities. Stasha says she doesn't view her life or her modes of communication negatively. I view myself as an artist first and I view my disabilities as just side notes. There are issues that I need to handle so I can follow my passion for art and hopefully become a well-known artist. And she sells her art online and operates her own successful business now. I am hoping that other people with a speech disability will find acceptance for their unique voice. I would tell artists with and without a disability that anything is possible if they work really hard and if they believe in themselves. And we will put links for both artworking and Stasha's work on fox47.com.